Hi guys, it's Naira. Welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a chit chat. Get ready with me. Um, it is my birthday today, but I sound like this because I still have a very sore throat. I am in a lot of pain in every sense of the word. My throat hurts. My little heart hurts. I'm so emotional. And for being honest, before I even had the balls to start my YouTube channel, um, I knew that YouTube was something I wanted to do for years, but I was just always really caught up in, you know, what I thought people would think about it, and obviously now I'm over that, and I really do wish I would have started earlier just because, um, I see so much growth and so much potential in my channel and what I can do, and for me, high school was really, really bad, honestly, um, High school just was not, or it wasn't, it wasn't all bad, but it just was, overall, was not a fun experience for me. Ignore my hair, please. I'm going to do it after I do my makeup. I just pulled it out of my face. But high school was not a very fun experience for me, so, um, I didn't want to give people another, I, I didn't care that people disliked me, but I didn't want to give people another reason to have something to say about me, which is why I pretty much waited till I graduated to start high school. And that's really terrible. If I could give anyone advice on something like that, I would say do not because I see so much growth so much growth in my channel already that if I would have started, you know, when I wanted to, imagine imagine how far I could be right now. So I just wish I wouldn't have done that. So today is my birthday and I am in a terrible mood and it's not to be because I know some people would think that say that it's like oh like it's your birthday like some people don't even live to be 18 you're ungrateful blah 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 I'm, I don't want to hear any of that because it has nothing to do with how grateful I am that I'm able to see 18 years it's you know things can still happen to you know upset you it doesn't mean that because you're it does, being grateful doesn't mean you get to you know excuse or disregard of your feelings so I just want to get that out the way right there I am just in such I'm trying to film a video if y'all stop screaming hello hello I'm trying to film a video if y'all stop screaming it has just been a terrible birthday for me. I celebrated my birthday with my family um, the weekend that just passed and that was awesome. I'm not at all saying, you know, my birthday celebration was bad. That was really fun and really awesome and I'm really grateful that my parents did all that for me. It was really fun but today I'm just not okay. I had a plan to film today a birthday, you know, get ready with me and you know, I was gonna be all happy and you know, whatever, because it's my birthday, but the one thing I want my channel to be is real. I never want to make content that is produced content that is not authentic to who I am as a person. That's just not what I want to do. So trying to film a video today that was anything but this would not, uh, it, it just wasn't sitting right with me. I've just been in such a a weird um, frame of mind lately, and not that I haven't been myself, but I've just had. I'm a very emotional person. If you don't if you don't believe in astrology, then you're gonna roll your eyes at this. But I am a Cancer. We are very emotional, always, and so you know I'm always emotional. But just recently, I've just been. You know, a bucket of emotions. I lost someone recently, and it was a very weird loss for me. Something I'm not necessarily, you know, 100% comfortable, you know, going into details. But it was just a very weird relation to that person. And the loss just not only hurt because I lost someone, but it just brought back a lot of 
a lot of feelings um a lot of really scary feelings that I haven't dealt with in a really long time you know they come from a place where I was not happy um I'm not depressed now I've I used to be very bad but I'm not there at all now I'm very happy with myself and I'm very happy with my life but just to be brought back to like those thoughts in that frame of mind and to be reminded of all that was just a very it's very emotionally draining um and so I've been dealing with that and I've just graduated high school and um obviously that's stressful I've decided I'm going to college um, a semester late I'm not taking a gap year but I need to go a semester late because I went to school I live if you are in Maryland then you know what this means if you don't live in Maryland or you're not in the DMV area you're gonna have no idea what I'm talking about right now but I live in PG County and the high school I was going to was in Anne Arundel County because I had started there and it was just really important for me to finish high school where I started it so I could graduate in the class with people that I knew just because I'm a scaredy cat I really didn't want to go to a completely new school and meet new people and my boyfriend is my best friend I didn't want to not be finishing high school in class with him I was just afraid to be away from him and my best friend Janaya and it was just terrifying for me so I just um Decide, I need to do my makeup because now I'm just talking and I'm not even doing my makeup. It's a 40 minute drive, 40, 45 minutes. Um, so I had to wake up super early and every morning, bless her soul, she's so supportive of me. I really do love my older sister. Um, she drove me to school every day, 45 minutes out from where we live. And I, you know, I will always appreciate that for her for that. And because of that, I never, I did that my. 11th grade year and my senior year and so because of that I never really got to do driving school I never really got to do driving school so I now have to and I am moving out I'm jumping I'm jumping around I never got to do driving school and that wouldn't be an issue except for the fact that I'm moving out so um, my mom, my older sister, and my stepdad all drive, and they are very helpful with getting me to where I want to be and where I need to be, so that I'm grateful for, but um, they're not going to be there to do that for me anymore because I am moving out, um, so I'm starting school a semester late because I have to do, do driving school. And I just want to get that all the way out the way. Not only driving school, but because I'm moving, I just need to save more. You can never save. You can never save enough. I just need to work, 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 work. I've been trying to get a job literally since I, I had a job. Last time I worked was March, the March of this year, and it is June now. It's the end of June now. And honestly, at first, I wasn't trying very hard. Like I was like, you know, I'll apply here and there. But um, I've been trying to adamantly get a job, honestly, since about the end of May. And it's now end of June. And um, the issue with that was because I was not 18, places um, weren't going to put me on full time. And if you needed to be, you know, 18 to do full time or all the all the good jobs you know the jobs that were gonna pay me well enough to sustain a life you know on my own were hiring at 18 so I really just had to wait until I was old enough to apply to 18 and older jobs so like two weeks for my birthday I started applying and so yeah so I just need to just save I need I just need time and I know it worries the heck out of my mom. She thinks I'm like not gonna go to college, but I want to be a dance teacher. Dance is what I'm most passionate about, and it's what I—it's the career path that I want to go. Obviously, you know, obviously it does not make the most sense, and this is not to discourage anyone or say that it doesn't make sense when other people do it, but it does not make the most sense to you know be working a part-time job and going to school 
or it doesn't make sense to be working like a part-time job and going, oh, I'm not going to go to college. I'm going to do dance auditions until, you know, Alvin Ailey picks me up or something. That doesn't make sense. And the chances of that are just, they're just too low for me. Um, and it has nothing to do with my ability. You know, I believe in what I can do. And I know that I'm great at what I do. But I don't want to put myself in a one in a million chance shot at life. That's just not smart to me. So that's not what I'm going to do. Um, yeah. So, I don't want my, I, I know that my mother is extremely worried. And she's like, the longer you put off college, the higher the chances you're just gonna not go. And she does not mean to be discouraging. But sometimes it comes off like that. And even still, I know what I want to do. And when I, when I want to do something and when I set my heart to something... Because, I, like I said, I'm a very emotional person. So when I get attached to the idea of something, I make it happen. The last job that I had, I I was absolutely in love. It's not a big company. It was Agassi. Um, oh, God, I can do a story time about working there. Don't even get me started. Oh, honey. Um, it was Agassi, and I was so set on getting that job. It was a two-stage interview, and... I had loved the store and I had, you know, called them and asked if they were hiring a thousand times and I was getting no's and they finally started hiring and, you know, I was just really set on it. And that's just with everything. When I set my heart to something, I, it's going to happen for me. So I just wish that, you know, I could get my mother to understand that. If I set my heart to this, you know, this is what I want to do. So this is what I'm going to do. And she knows that because like with moving, she goes, um, she at first, she's been supportive of the idea because she's just very supportive of me. So she's been supportive of the idea since day one. But she's like, you know, I think you should wait, consider going to college on campus. And I'm like, that's not what I want to do. And at first she thought it was just me, you know, saying I wanted to do something and then she saw how serious I was about it, you know. That is just, you know, 100% what I want to do. I want to move. I want to be independent. And we are in the generation of, you know, it's no longer super weird and super shocking that someone is 18 and, you know, they want to move out. They don't want to go to school on campus. That is becoming more and more common in this generation. And I love that because... We often get pegged as being lazy, you know, we're lazy, we're not motivated, you know, the millennials don't have their stuff together, they don't want to buy homes, they don't want to do this, they don't want to do that. So I love that um, it's becoming more common in our generation to, you know, move out at earlier ages. And I think it's great. I think I would rather be independent soon and learn and make mistakes and screw up early in life so that when I'm ready to really, you know, get my stuff together, I can do it with ease. When I'm ready to bring children into this world, I'm re I can, you know, do it and not have to worry about putting them in jeopardy of anything. Obviously, everyone's going to have their own opinions on that, but that's just how I feel about it. <laughs> so I've just been stressed out buying things like that. Um, I need to hurry up so I can start saving. Because the sooner I get a job, the sooner I can start saving, the sooner I can start... You know, driving school, the car isn't the issue for me. The driving school is the issue. So, as soon as I can start driving school, because I am not living close to my parents. Like I said, I live in PG County, and I went to school in Henry County. I'm moving in the area that I went to school. That is the area that I lived in. I've only been living in PG County, like I said, the last two years. Um, and that is the area that just feels like home to me. That is the area that me and my mom and my dad, before he passed, you know, we moved to Maryland in that area. And so that's just where I want to live. That just feels like home to me. That is just, you know, where I feel the happiest. And I want to be able to drive, not have to be on anyone else's time, not need anybody else's help, you know. So just trying to get my life together. And that is a job in itself. Uh, my birthday got off to a very, 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 very bad start very early. 